Hello friends. In the last couple of sessions, uh, we had a clear discussion about the color models fundamentals and we discussed the concepts of uh, what is a color model and what is RGB color model followed by uh, we had a clear discussion about uh, HSV color model. Now in this session, we are going to see one of the very important color models which has got multiple variants also out in the market called as YUV color model. Uh, this is very important so I request you to listen to it very clearly and in case you do not understand what I am talking, I would prompt you to listen to it the second time or even the third time if required because this is a topic which requires deep understanding. So YUV is one of the color models or we call it color encoding systems which is mostly used in the color image pipeline. Now we need to understand what is the color image pipeline. It is used between image source and image renderer. What do you mean by that? Very simple. The image source can be the camera whereas any display device would be regarded as the image renderer. So this is an alternate option for traditional RGB based display systems and this is most frequently used in uh, all the television systems, all the display systems these days. In this color uh, scheme, in this color model scheme, the best point about this is uh, we have a reduced transmission errors and the bandwidth is also uh, very nicely utilized and we have reduced bandwidth usage as well. So OEV is globally accepted and all our television systems, all our display systems has YUV. You can check it out in uh, your uh, manual whatever you have got uh, while purchase you will have this YUV model supported in your display systems. So we need to understand two very important terms here. The first term is luminance and the second term is chrominance. The luminance is nothing but the brightness whereas the chrominance is nothing but the color. Luminance refers to the brightness, chrominance refers to the color. In YUV, Y represents the luminance and UV is totally connected to chrominance which is nothing but the color. So people also call this model as a luminance and chrominance model. In this model, the luminosity of the given color is detached and the hue is determined which means the color is determined by detaching the luminosity from the uh, given color. Uh, you will understand it when I show you a demo. I repeat, you need to understand it when I show you a, a um, diagram which has got a clear idea about what is it. Just now, just for, for now you understand that we have two terms, luminance and chrominance, where luminance refers to the brightness and chrominance refers to the color. And now, Y is totally connected to uh, luminosity and UV is connected to uh, totally chrominance, as I told you earlier. Now, um, the U channel shall be created after subtracting the Y from amount of blue in the given image. Remember, the U value, this point is what I am talking about now. The U channel shall be created just after subtracting the yellow content, I mean the Y, sorry, uh, the Y content, uh, which is the luminous, luminance content from the uh, given image. Um, the U channel shall get created after subtracting the Y content from amount of blue in the given image whereas the V channel gets created by subtracting amount of red from the given Y. So please remember this is a formula we need to follow this formula blindly Y can be obtained by 0.299R plus 0.587G plus 0.114B where R, G, B corresponds to red, green and blue where you can see that u is obtained by b minus y of 0.4492 is needed here b is blue y is yellow so please remember that is what i told you here and i took a little bit of time to teach you this also this is very important the formula is all about blue yellow and how do you get u out of blue and yellow how do you get v out of red and yellow now V is obtained with 0.877 of R minus Y where R is red and Y is yellow. This is how we create it and this is the formula to derive YUV out of RGB. Please remember this is a very important topic. Now a figure would be useful for you to understand it as I told you RGB when you pass this formula into I mean when you pass RGB into this formula setup you get YUV. But this YUV is derived out of this fundamental formula that I explained to you some time back. Please remember YUV is all from RGB. Now, 
there is some other term called as chroma subsampling what is it the chroma subsampling is a process which is connected to lessening the color resolution of the video signals when you receive video signals it would be of a very high resolution uh, for your tv display or your whatever displays you have at home we need to lessen that because it saves bandwidth and why do we do that will it not affect the quality i will answer you this question little later now one can reduce or lessen this uh, heavy um, heavy signals heavy video signals uh, by uh, sampling and chroma subsampling comes into picture there what we do is uh, we uh, carry out the sampling at a, a lower lay rate than the brightness which means i am going to affect uh, not the brightness but the other parameter um, when the color information is reduced it won't be detected as much as the eyes detect the brightness so what i am telling you is very simple chroma subsampling uh, will save the bandwidth by reducing or lessening the resolution of the video signals and the lessening process happens for the color and not for the brightness and this is fine because your eyes and my eyes won't detect the changes in the color as much as we could detect the changes in the brightness and this is fine so the resolutions are all adjusted there and most importantly we save the bandwidth so how does it work i have a 2 cross 2 matrix there i am having rgb component out of it i apply the formula i get uv 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 for all corresponding rgbs this is the fundamental structure now there are a few uh, chroma subsampling techniques that we follow chroma subsampling 4 is to 4 is to 4 how do we do it very simple i have 4 2 cross 2 matrix here so i have got four components out here i apply the value and i get all the four out here each r corresponds to y each g corresponds to u and b respectively in this picture now when i go to 4 is to 2 is to 2 you can see that i have got four three all the four y's are there but only two u's are there and two v's are there this is called 4 is to 2 is to 2 i have got four y's and i have got two u's and two v's this is called chroma subsampling 4 is to 2 is to 2 now comes 4 is to 1 is to 1 now you could have understood what is it i have got all the four y's available but only one u and only one v so what did i tell you sometime back in this slide if you uh, remember luminance refers to the brightness chrominance refers to the color y represents luminance where uv represents the chrominance which is nothing but color now what do we do here we did not touch y anywhere and we adjusted u and v and they are called the schemes here and when you adjust the brightness it is not going to affect much of the quality of the image because our eyes won't recognize it is the point and final method is 4 is to 2 is to 0 where i have got all the four y's available two u's are there and only one v is available this is called chroma subsampling please remember this is a very very important topic and from this models there are so other models which have evolved in the market which i think we will see later in this session i discussed clearly what is y u v what is y what is v followed by what is luminance what is chrominance and uh, how do we use this formula to derive y u v out of r g b and what happens when you go with chroma subsampling methods and chroma subsampling is a method where you suppress the color and lessen the color information without affecting the brightness information and we have got four methods there 4 is to 4 is to 4 4 is to 2 is to 2 4 is to 1 is to 1 and 4 is to 2 is to 0 i hope this is sufficient for you to even handle the exams and the interviews thank you very much for following my content on the channel this topic is important please pay attention and if you have any queries suggestions inputs please go ahead and type in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer that thank you very much